I honestly don't see anything they could do to fix the situation that doesn't involve hiring an entirely new dev team and or studio. Are you serious? Well then. This is not something I ever expected to be talking about. Ever since this was announced the other day, you folks have been asking me non-stop what my thoughts are on this. Let's talk. So for anyone who doesn't know, Bioware and EA are currently in talks with another game studio named Broadsword. They are potentially passing Star Wars The Old Republic's development to this other studio. Okay, so far nothing concrete has been announced, other than the fact they are currently in talking phases, the game director for Star Wars The Old Republic took to the forums on the official website to explain that they can't talk about it right now. A classic Bioware move, updating you just to tell you that they can't say anything. No doubt you've read the reports that Electronic Arts is evaluating opportunities to give the game and the team a new home, which includes conversations with Broadsword. Unfortunately, we can't answer any questions you may have at this time. Game Update 7.3's June release will remain unchanged and patch notes will be released the day before per usual. All future content updates are also moving forward as planned, including 7.3.1 and 7.4. We are looking forward to the future of Star Wars The Old Republic and its continued growth. Heath's post was nothing but damage control for how bad this looks for the game. Let's talk about that because I know many of you are concerned about the game's future if it is to be passed off to another studio. Will this kill the game? Listen, my own personal opinion on this is that the game hasn't been doing well for a long time now. If you've watched my channel in the past, you're probably aware of that. I think the loss of talented writers such as Charles Boyd, Drew Karpshin and other devs that have departed over the years has really affected the game. Swotor seems to have been this experimental game that Bioware keeps changing around internally. This isn't healthy. As I said over a year ago now, this game's only hope was a new studio or fresh devs. A changeover could be a fantastic thing for the game. Firstly, the studio that could be receiving Swotor already has experience with MMOs, something Bioware didn't have before all this began. Secondly, some of the already existing dev team are said to be moving across to the new studio. I imagine this is to help the new devs get familiar with the game and systems. Other core devs may move across as well, but we're yet to find out who. Now this doesn't mean that the game will somehow be saved and get more and more updates along with expansions. This is going to be up to the new studio to prove. It also kind of depends on whether or not EA is going to remain partnered. I imagine that they will do, which means EA is probably still going to be funding the game to some extent. But we really do need to wait for that official announcement before we can get into the absolute details. Whether or not the game is going to be updated will be up to the new studio to prove. It will be their responsibility to earn your trust and loyalty. Their partnership as of today is a little unclear when researching. It seems that EA used to be the parent company, but in 2014, EA tried to shut down Broadsword Studios. Someone decided to keep the studio running so the two MMOs it handles can stay online, or something similar. The other two games they handle are Ultima Online and The Dark Age of Camelot both highly heralded games by an older community, but those games are both older than Swotor. They don't really have the same player count that we expect Swotor to have, which could mean the new studio might be overwhelmed if the transition does not go smoothly. This kinda really is a make or break moment. I think Swotor deserves some tender loving care. I welcome this studio change, but I will be watching closely. According to some articles you see online, the Bioware team that works on Swirtor right now is as large as 70 to 80 people. This doesn't include any outsourced work though, which I can tell you is a lot. You can watch any of the game's credits play and see for yourself to some extent. Now this studio allegedly only has up to 50 people working there. That's the Broadsword Studio. I cannot confirm this, I can only relay what I saw on their webpage and recruitment. So if half the current Swotor team moves across, that means they could have up to 80 or 90 devs. But exactly how many will be working on Swotor from the new studio is unclear right now. In time, we will get an official announcement, 
and hopefully some more news that explains things better. The game director for Star Wars The Old Republic posted once again on the forums, erring on the edge of caution about people theorising about the end of the game. I think it would be hasty for any more of the developers to comment on what's going to happen until they know absolutely for certain what will happen. As I've said in previous videos, the developers for Star Wars The Old Republic have done a lot of damage to their trust, which the developers don't totally seem to understand just yet. If you read through the replies on the forum, you can clearly see that players are sceptical and suspicious about what is happening. Many people are worried that something bad is going to happen to the game, and this is no fault but your own Bioware. If I were you, I would nut up and shut up and wait until it's over. For all those players of the game and people who enjoy the story, I genuinely hope that something awesome can be worked out. I wonder how long this has been in preparation for. My gut tells me it's been in the making for a while. According to the game director's latest comment, Whoa, whoa, everyone. I was hoping me telling you about the upcoming releases would help you understand this is a new beginning, not the end. We have more stories, modernizations, and MMO content already being planned out beyond 7.4. While details are being discussed and finalized behind the scenes, Let's not spin this into incorrect theories. I am asking you to hang tight, and we'll follow up later with more details when we can. However, something caught my eye in what he said. We have more stories, modernizations, and MMO content already being planned out beyond 7.4. I find this statement very interesting, because if we are to take it at face value, it means that the devs did not plan out this expansion, which makes me further wonder if Bioware and EA have intentionally not been updating the game with the usual content for the simple reason that they are giving the game to another studio and decided to possibly cut their losses. After all, why would they plan something out if they are not the ones making it? Another thing the game director said in his comment is this. While details are being discussed and finalised behind the scenes, Let's not spin this into incorrect theories. It's no use asking people not to speculate, really, especially when minimal information is available. You have to understand that the players of this game have patiently waited for you to update them with content. The last time you even posted on the forums was last year. This still isn't a great look for the director of the game. If there is one thing I hope about this new dev team, if it happens, I hope they communicate and stream much more often. We appreciate the amazing game and stories you brought us, Bioware, but it's time Swotar broke its chains that are held so closely to the devil's chest. I'm not sure if you'll be missed, Bioware, but the legacy you created sure as hell endures. Or the Empire.